Tonight's top European Union stories from the Unit UK include Independent Scotland would have same influence in EU as Finland, says the CBI. The European Union confirms new support for trade in West Africa. Bulgaria selling European Union passports for as little as £150,000. Senator Murphy fights effort by EU to restrict cheese names. Plus, EU Bank Vice President in Eye of Spain graft scandal. Now, with over 60% of people voting Nigel Farage as the clear winner in last night's LBC debate on Europe, it's encouraging to see that finally the veil of lies, distraction and deception about the nature and power of the European Union is finally being removed. Here at the unit, we're keeping up the pressure on exposing these deceptions and bringing you the truth. Help us by sharing our news with your friends, subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you're not already receiving our daily email newsletter, then visit our website to subscribe. For those who already receive it, please consider forwarding it to your friends and contacts. The only way we can reach more people with our information is with your help. It is your help that has got us beyond 5,000 daily readers, and your continued help could take us to our next target of 10,000. On that note, we want to send our thanks to Ernie Blaber, who wrote, have sent your video Betrayed to friends and relations in the UK, plus Barcelona and Western Australia. The reaction? Horrified. How did this happen? Barcelona's copy being circulated to other expat Europeans who are told we Brits are not anti-European, but are very much anti-European Union. Hopefully, they'll spread the word. Well, thanks very much again for your help, Ernie. It's Thursday, 27th of March, 2014. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is The Unit Nightly News. First up, the hot story from our website, theunituk.com. Independent Scotland would have the same influence in the EU as Finland, says the CBI. The CBI has warned that an independent Scotland would be left with the same influence in the European Union as Finland. The business organisation said Scotland faced the real risk of being left out in the cold after a yes vote in September's referendum as it fought to persuade the other 28 member states to allow it membership of the EU. Scotland had little hope of keeping all the special opt-outs won by previous UK governments and would face significant barriers to a smooth and seamless transition to membership, it added. In a highly critical report on the Scottish Government's independence white paper, the CBI said Alex Salmond's claims that Scotland could join the EU within 18 months of the referendum were highly ambitious. And still, it seems that only here at the unit is the question being asked, how does Scotland devolving from the UK to immediately become a subservient member state of a European Union super state represent Scotland as an independent sovereign nation? The European Union confirms new support for trade in West Africa. More coming across our desk on the development on the African continent, and this article on our website saw European Commissioners Andries Pyborgs for Development Policy and Karl de Gucht for Trade Policy welcome today's Foreign Affairs Council conclusions confirming new EU support of at last least €65 billion Euros for the European Economic Partnership Agreement Development Programme, or PAPED, for West Africa. During the period 2015 to 2020, the funds will greatly enhance trade and investment flows to West African countries, thus contributing to their development, sustainable growth and poverty reduction. The PAPED is an essential element of economic partnership agreement negotiated with West Africa and will provide funding for projects linked to trade, industry, transport and energy infrastructure in the region, as well as through support to civil society. Now, this substantial new commitment from the European Commission and the EU member states demonstrates the EU's continuous support to West Africa's regional integration, which is the most advanced of the African continent. 
Now, we know that the EU investment in Africa is about integration and securing resources. In the case of West Africa, the BDI of our Bruswellian overlords is on Atlantic fish stocks available off the coast of West Africa. A quick search for fishing on our website will reveal the West African fishing connections. Bulgaria selling EU passports for as little as £150,000. Bulgaria has not only copied Malta by introducing its own citizenship for sales scheme, but it is also selling EU citizenship at a cheaper price. Britain's The Telegraph reported yesterday that the former Eastern Bloc country is selling passports for as little as £150,000, and its undercover reporters were told that they would not need to live or work in Bulgaria as long as they paid the price. The whole process wouldn't take more than two days. The fast-track programme was quietly introduced just weeks before restrictions on Bulgarian nationals living and working in other EU countries was dropped earlier this year. Hundreds of foreign nationals are already believed to have applied for EU citizenship under the scheme. Of course, this will act to add more fuel to the fire over the issues of immigration. The article carries the full details and leaves one with the traditional British sense of what a blooming cheek. Senator Murphy fights effort by EU to restrict cheese names. Well, it appears that the Americans are quick to wake up and smell the cheese. US Senator Chris Murphy didn't even have to taste the creamy golden cow's milk feta cheese made at Sankow's Beaverbrook farm to know it was worth fighting for. A camembert or a feta made here is just as good as a camembert or feta made in Europe, said Murphy, standing over a table spread with cheese samples in the farm store. There's no difference. The Democratic senator visited the 180-acre sheep and dairy farm to call attention to efforts by the European Union to ban the use of traditional European names for cheeses made in the United States, including Parmesan, Feta and Munster. There is going to be a lot of wrangling over this transatlantic partnership, some of which is frankly just rather silly. But let's not let the mainstream media pull the wool over our eyes. There are very important issues in the details of the TTIP trade deal, particularly in the area of pharmaceuticals and healthcare regulation and harmonisation. The other area where we need to be concerned is that of coercion in favour of multinational global corporates, which will have a negative impact on small businesses and reduce competition. Of course, our research team will keep a close watch. Currently, much of the details and negotiation around the TTIP is taking place behind closed doors, which only helps to support our arguments that the EU talk of democracy is really just that. Talk. EU Bank Vice President in Eye of Spain Graft Scandal The Vice President of the European Investment Bank is at the heart of a Spanish probe into the misuse of millions of euros of public funds that has rocked Spain's main opposition socialist. Magdalena Alvarez, a former public works minister, is under investigation over her alleged role in the fraudulent use of public funds used to pay severance pay for companies in Andalusia in southern Spain that laid off workers. She was drawn deeper into the corruption scandal on Wednesday after the judge leading the probe ordered her to post a bond of 29.6 million euros to cover her liability in the case. The alleged fraud, reportedly the biggest public money scam in Spain's history, involved a regional development fund that was used to pay bogus severus payments to dozens of people, even though they never worked for the firms in question. Whew! Oh boy, if this case gets proved in favour of the prosecution, somebody, namely Miss Alvarez, is for the high jump. And if the courts can get the case through in double quick time, there's a good chance she'll be able to get an appointment with the EU Commission, the European Union's executive arm. Oddly enough, just like Neil Kinnock. Remember to visit our website, theunituk.com, for all the very latest news. You can find our page on Facebook by searching for The Unit UK, or one word. Join our community on Google+, Plus, where you can interact with us, voice your opinions and post comments about our stories and even get involved in the shows. 
For all the latest tweets as they happen, then follow us on Twitter at the E Unit. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Ritimis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.